So here I am in this Hollywood city. City of stars moving, grooving the cars. Um, guess I'll talk about the funk later. Huh? How about that? Talk about the funk later? Can I talk about the 420 funk mob and George Clinton in the Parliament Funkadelic? And that? And their new opening song, The Booty? And I think I saw Mr. Clinton practicing that booty in the studio. I was like, I heard him, he was singing booty. Oh, yeah, booty. I think he had a clip in the studio that was doing it. And I don't know if I heard the music or not, but the music, they had new music. And when it came on, I was like, what is that? <laughs> when it came on to it, I was like, what is that? <laughs> but it was, you know, it was kind of a go-go beat. I was like, oh, that's not like go-go. But, um, you know, it's a different thing. It's, let me just start, say that right now, and I got to get to work. Let me just start right now. What George Clinton, the Parliament Funkadelic does is different than what the 420 Funk Mod do, does, which is different than what Zap does. It's, it's all different things. It's almost like comparing apples and oranges. It really is really almost like comparing apples and oranges. It, it really, really is to a point. It, you you, almost, you can't compare. It's like two different, two completely, it's just like different. They're, they're just like different things. Different, just different. So let's just leave it at that. So if you say one is better than the other, what you're probably saying is you like more, like one better than the other. And that's, is that what we're really always saying? When you say, when you actually say one is better than the other, aren't you really saying you like this one better than the other? But sometimes I guess you could be more scientific and more objective and say, this one is better because it's more efficient. This one is better because it maximizes its energy to produce more. You know, we actually can get an objective instead of an aesthetic kind of, a, I like this one more because the, the vibe is different. I like this one more because it's more hype. I like this one more because, you know, they don't be playing Shake the Gate music. I didn't mean to say that. That slipped. <laughs> That's the before Johnny Vogue, I did play One Nation in the group. And that, and, okay, and I, I'm not going to talk about it, but. There is a thing, I call it the Bobby Easton thing, because he was the most blatant example of it, that where he played a park in Compton, there was a bunch of Negroes out there, and he played all B-sides of Funkadelic, where I'm thinking these people want to hear Atomic Dog, they want to hear Flashlight, they want to hear an ED, they want to hear One Nation, they want to hear the hits, and he played all of that. And I asked him, I said, blah, blah, blah. He, he said what's going on? And he, said, well, he said, well, what about what I want to hear? And I was like, I like that. You know, me, my objectivist and myself and, you know, who cares about what other people think, what I want comes first. I was like, I like that, Mr. Easton. That was a bit selfish and I liked it. <laughs> but it comes a balance, you know, it comes a balance. 420 Pokemon, you know, or, it, 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 would, it, it would almost, I wouldn't say hurt me, but it would be weird to see them play hits. See them play Flashlight. To see them play the hits. That's not what the 420 Pokemon was for. But I turn around and you, you look at the crowd at the P-Funk show and you see the people who are buying the tickets. Those are the people who need to be pleased. The people who are buying the tickets need to be pleased. And you look at the demographic of those people and what they like and what you, you know, guess what you may think they may like and what they may not like. Keep them buying tickets. You know, that's the whole important part because people look like me ain't there. People like, if, if it was up to people who look like me, I, Mr. Clinton then would have stopped doing a long time. You know, so it was kind of a brilliant move to, for them to grab that audience or take hold of that audience or somehow bring that audience in because that audience sustains my love and my passion to where I can go see that goddamn group and be front row every time. So, and I understand that, you know, from Mr. Clinton's perspective, he's looking back at the crowd. So he sees way more than I do. He, and he has way more years of experience of what they want, and what they don't want. You know, what moves and what doesn't move, what needs to be done, this and that and that and that. And, and, and so I have to default to his judgment because it seems to be working. It seems to be working. They keep getting booked. The, the crowds are still there. The demographic is consistently 20, maybe 20, 30, 40 year old white uh, males and females. And I have to say, and females. There's females there too. You know, there's, there's, there's females that come there, not with their boyfriends or anything, but you know, they go, oh, it's just George Clinton, you know, and then they, they want that party, whatever that is, whatever that is, you know, and, and I know that, you know, Brandy, um, Scott and, and the kids, the three GP, 
vibrates on that you know, that younger level. It resonates with that younger level. So I understand the shake the gate and understand, you know, they like that hip hop and but you still got that funk behind it. So we kinda getting, you know, both worlds. Kinda getting both worlds. You know, to hear Mr. Curry and Mr. Josie and and all of them play behind Mr. Oliver and Mr. Hamza sometimes play all that play behind Mr. Thomas the Horns, everybody. To hear all that ad libbing and musical stuff behind the track, put that thing on it. You know, so like get low is pretty good, you know, now. You know, pole power, I still don't understand pole power. A pole ain't nothing but a pole and hole in it. What what the hell does that even mean? Pole power. Pole power. That one I just, you know, I sing it and I do it, you know, because I know Miss Carlon Thompson Clinton is up there with her camera. You know, I want to put something nice for PTV. <laughs> I love PTV and all hell. Uh, Carlon Thompson Clinton and her endeavor. And I often wonder, is history going to write? Is history going to tell her story? I wonder if history is going to tell her story and the impact she may or may not have had on me in sustaining this group that I get to go see. And I've asked people before, the consensus is, you know, her role in all of this seems to be consistent. And, um, you know, it could be possible that without her, we wouldn't be out there. You know, it, 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 could, it could very well be possible that, you know, without, you know, what she did and, you know, gave and who she is and how she believes and, all of that, you know, it, you know, all of this may have possibly come to an end years ago. But um, so you know that, that always uh, and I saw her say well, when they was playing that that uh, the for opening track Google music. I saw her, you know, getting it. She still got it. I mean, not that she old or nothing. She still got it. But we all old. But you know, she still had a little. She got this like little groove. I'm telling you, it's, it's like. And it's not like, you know, the, the usual groove. You see people have different grooves, you know. You see one demographic, you know, they, they kind of got this. And you see other ones kind of do this. Like Tanisha, Ms. Nelson, she got one. It, 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 Mr. Payne even got a different one, you know. And, and it's like a different thing. Even tra uh, Trey Lou, <laughs> he even got a different, you know, kind of thing. And then you see Carlisle's and then Brandy, of course, you know. You know hers is just like Kendra, Miss Foster. They all got different you know, where they bounce on it. But the, when Carlon and um, when she does her, every now and then she catches me because she be doing this like kind of like little, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just, and I, I, I wanted to record it because I was like, ah, oh, I get it. I get it. Every time I see it, it surprised me because I think we old and, you know, we, we oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because I think we old and we need to, um, you know, um, I forgot the clock in. I'm up here talking to y'all. Oh my God. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on now. Punch in. Uh, get that in there. 12 o'clock. Woo. All right. All right. Because <laughs> you know, even if it's 12 or 1, you know, I could play it off and do this and do that, but I don't like, I don't, that's not how I work. That's not how I operate. That's not how I operate. It's, 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 it's zero sum, zero tolerance. You're late or you're not late. So, so uh, let's see what we got. Let me, all right, I got to do some work. I got to do some work, y'all. I got to give some attention to my other passion. I have to give attention to my other passion, which sustains my other passions. This, this passion sustains the other passion. Because without this, you know, I went to bed in New Orleans this weekend. Anyhow, 